Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can become a pro with R301 and how you can beam people with this gun like you feel no recoil in this game. So when it comes to assault rifles in Apex, you need to improve two factors. One is you need to get used to the recoil control. The second is that you need to improve your tracking to really beam people. Today I will show you the only way to become a beamer not only with R301 but also with other assault rifles in this game. Just before we start, I really need you to understand that getting better at these factors cannot be achieved in a day or two magically. So if you are looking for something out there to help you get magically good with tracking or recall patterns, I'm telling you right now that you're just wasting your time and the only way to improve those factors is to practice and to be consistent. So let's start with the R301 recall pattern first. To just clear your mind, I'm not showing you this to say okay if you want to get the recall you need to drag your aim oppositely because there is no pro player out there who considers this to get the record. Please just be patient and let me explain why I'm showing you this. As you can see, half of the bullets have no horizontal recoil and after 10 shots, you can see a horrible horizontal pattern. In my R99 recoil control video, which you might have already watched, I explained adding an extended mag can even help your recoil pattern, but here is precisely the opposite. As you can see, when I add an extended level 3, you can see the pattern even get worse at the end. So this is why here for your practice, I want you to add an extended to your gun because it can make your job more challenging but for R99, I recommended not adding an extended because in that case, it would help you establish your recoil smoother. This is why I showed you the pattern to make sure you understand that the first half of bullets need to be dealt with only vertical pattern and after that, your mind needs to be ready to control the recoil horizontally. So for your practice, I need you to add these attachments, extended and a 2x. I highly suggest you not to add any stabilizer or stock because these two attachments help you with the recoils and as usual we always want to get ready for the worst case scenario in this game when it comes to assault rifles we always want to find a scope that is suitable for mid range and long range 2x 3x and 2x 4x are the scopes people always look for when picking a rifle for R301, usually people rather find the 2x or some like to pick a 3x. You need to understand that this depends on your own preference and in order to find it, you need to keep playing and see which one you like the most. To just let you know, there is a slight difference when you pick 3x over 2x. When you choose a 3x scope for your gun, tracking with low sense could be harder because it zooms in more than 2x. So if you see that your tracking and recoil pattern with 2x is better than 3x, it's because you basically are not using the same sensation as you're using for 2x. This is why I always recommend that if you see you're really good with 2x but you're not comfortable with 3x, you can go to your sense and just make the 3x sensitivity higher so maybe this can help you with that. Another tip that I need to mention before we start practicing is in Apex moving left to the right or right to the left while shooting with any gun helps you establish the recoil smoother. So the way pro players deal with the recoils in this game is not because they know the patterns of each gun and they go to the opposite way because they play so much their mind is ready to deal with the recoil so quickly so as soon as they feel the recoil is pulling their aim to the right or left their brain reacts instantly itself the opposite way and when they go to the left and right quickly it helps them to establish the recoil smoother so when you're watching them you literally feel they're not dealing with any recoil in this game so in order to make our brain ready for any kind of recoil in apex i want you to stop moving to the left and right while practicing why because going to the left and right helps you with the recoil and you can't feel how far your aim is going away from the target while shooting but as you see when you are staying one spot and try to shoot your aim goes off the target and you have to pull your aim back to the target again so what i'm trying to explain is that there is no magic way out there to help you truly learn the recoil pattern except practicing and making your brain ready to deal with the recoil itself okay now it's time to make our minds ready to deal with the recoil itself and just let our brain do the job for us for the first practice i need you to stand here and try to one clip this dummy from here i highly recommend you to stay at the same ground level as the dummy is instead of up here because it makes your job easier when you stay up there you can do this practice for 15 minutes and after that i want you to come here and try to sit and one clip these dummies trust me that doing this for like 15 minutes every day is the only magic way you're looking for I have a friend who is an apex coach and his tracking and recoil patterns always inspires me so much. As you can see his status, he's a pro player and he's an absolute beamer. 
You might think that these guys never practice and warm up before any game, but I swear that I mostly see him in firing range and when I asked him what you do in firing range, he showed me his practices that he does hours and hours to keep his aim always warmed up. So what I'm trying to say is even pro players do these basic trains every day and their most secret key is their consistency. I promise you if you do the same, you get the same result, but don't assume that doing this for a week just gonna make you a god beamer because this is not how it works. In fact, when you start practicing, your brain needs a few weeks to process what you learn and it slowly start improving itself. This is why I always say that slowly is the fastest way so don't give up and keep practicing and I promise you when you see the improvements, you just keep doing it more and more because the only way to get better is to practice and to be consistent. Another practice that my friend showed me is that he comes up here and tries to one clip dummies from a high ground angle. This practice is also perfect because it puts you in a different situation and you can get ready to beam people from high grounds which is very advantageous in Apex Legends. Now when you get comfortable with the recoil, you might notice that recoil is not the only thing you need to deal with to become a beamer because in Apex you can't kill people in one second and you need to track people to beam them truly. Unfortunately this might take some time because you can do fewer practices in firing range to help yourself. The way I improve is I use an app which I will tell you at the end how I did but I still in firing range there are some methods that you can do to improve your tracking skill. The first thing you can do is to use this target to help yourself with tracking. As you can see this target has a slow motion and it can help you to get used to the tracking while dealing with the recoil. One tip that you need to consider is when you're tracking this, try to hold your aim in a certain part. Because in the game targets are not this big and the issue with this target is that you cannot realize if you're tracking well or not. This is why I highly suggest you try to focus in either in the middle or one of these squares around to make sure you're hitting the target. If you're a beginner, this target can help you to start with, but you need better practices to improve after a while. This is why I have two other methods that can help you with this. The first one is to activate dummies to practice with them. I don't know why, but I barely see people use these dummies in order to practice and they're so underrated. But this feature can help you with many things because these dummies are the only option available to help you with tracking. So what you can do is first activate the dummies and then come up here. When you start shooting, they start coming to you and then you can try to track them and kill them which can help your tracking and their recoil simultaneously. If you don't know how to activate dummies, I have another video in which I explain how you can do it step by step so I include the link in the description. So feel free to check it out. The second method is to work with one of your friends. The way you can do is one of you start crossing the way and the other one start tracking him. You can also use Octane or Bangalore to make it more challenging for yourself. If you see this is very easy for you, you can start doing different movements to make sure you get ready for different movements as well. In this practice, you and your partner can switch around and help each other to get better with tracking. Okay, now it's time to show you guys how to improve myself with tracking in this game. As I mentioned in the other video, I use Apex M3 trainer to get used to the recoil and tracking. As you guys know, improving tracking in Apex might take some time because most of the time you walk around the map and you don't engage any fights in pubs. But training in this app for an hour every day can magically improve you quickly. Because for this app you need to pay around $5, I don't recommend it for everyone unless you can afford it. Just to let you know, I'm not trying to feature anyone and I'm not paid to do anything. But because I'm 100% sure this app is useful, I introduce it to you. So do not forget that if you really want to improve your tracking and recoil control skill, you need to be consistent and remember that slowly is the fastest way so keep practicing. This is the only magic way that can help you out but nobody talks about it because they know that people are looking for easy ways which don't even exist. I hope this video helped you out with what you were looking and please in the comment down below let me know what you want me to make for the upcoming videos. And last but not least, if you enjoyed the content and if you're new to my channel, make sure to follow me which helps me tons to make more content. Have a great day and see you guys in the next video.